I love to explore our beautiful world and discover its offerings. That love brought me to Geneva, Switzerland. Swapping my Canadian toque for a safety helmet, I unleashed my inner geek on a tour of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. What is the universe made of? How did it start? These are the questions that CERN's physicists are trying to answer using powerful particle accelerators like this one, 100 meters below ground. My name is Reyes Alemani. I'm a physicist, experimental physicist, uh, and I've been uh, working uh, for many years in the detectors. And then uh, since 2006, I moved to the BIM department to work for the operation of LAC. So my role is to, uh, to be one of the persons responsible for the operation of the Large Hadron Collider and to uh, make sure the machine produces the beams and, uh, and the collisions that the experiments need in order to do the search for new particles. Um, I was always uh, very much interested about uh, biology and things similar to this when I was very, very little. But with time and, 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 uh, have, and going on with the school, I, I realized that physics was one of the subjects, or mathematics, because I, I like it a lot as well, that could give me answers to many of the questions that I had and scientific answers, and this, I liked it. The fact that uh, there was a science that could uh, answer all my, my, my questions. In 2012, uh, the Large Hadron Collider, uh, after some months of operation, managed to produce the Higgs particle. This is one of the particles that had been uh, postulated in theory and uh, but never found up to now in the previous accelerators that we had before. So the Higgs particle, it is a boson and um, it is uh, the particle responsible for the other particles to have mass. At the beginning, in, uh, when the universe was created after the Big Bang, the partic there was a, 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 a symmetry which made that all the particles were had all the same mass by this symmetry. And then at some point, this Higgs boson or Higgs field appeared, and by the appearance of this field or boson, the particles started, each of them, so I'm talking about electrons, neurons, tau, neutrinos, they started to have different mass, which has a lot of consequences for us. Like, for example, that today the matter exists, that we can create matter. Because when the particles, they were all the same mass, most probably without, like the photons, they were running all at the speed of light, so there is no way you can create matter in these conditions. These are some of my favorite Geneva gems. Thanks for watching, I'm Shannon Skinner. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.